Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Slowinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Akron, Ohio. So today we're gonna to be making a really fun card and it is featuring some new standalone dies. They do the words and then the little background that you see here and they are called Wanted to Say dies. So I will show you them in a little bit more detail when I turn the camera around. But this is really a fun card to make and it uses a technique that's as old as the hills and it requires no special tools. So this is a really good one for um, anybody who is just new to stamping or if you're an experienced crafter as well. And I'm calling it tearing it up. So I'm gonna be turning the camera around, but before I do that, I wanted to just say that I'm gonna put a couple of pictures of my new crafting space. A couple of my subscribers have asked to see pictures of it, as you can see um, over here. Um, you can see the yellow color. It's a bright and happy space. I love creating here. And the other thing I wanted to say is thank you so much for subscribing, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, share my video, leave comments, and if you need to purchase any of the supplies, I really appreciate it if you purchase them from my um, store. So I'm going to begin. I'm going to show you those pictures and then we're going to make a fabulous card together. So I hope you like seeing pictures of my new craft space. It really helps me to be inspired and make beautiful cards and videos for you. So here is our card today. I'm going to bring that up close so you can see the texture that we get from ripping our paper. And of course, these dies. So I'm gonna show you those dies in a little bit more detail. Here they are. Now these are all backwards, so you can't really read them. So I'm gonna show you them in the catalog. Grab that over here. They're on page 167. So that's right down here at the bottom. So you can see, you're too kind, happy birthday, feel better soon, and celebrate, along with a couple of other things. This is a little gift package, you can't quite tell, but then you've got these hearts, stars, and these flowers, and a bow. So it is a wonderful bundle, or not bundle, it's a, just a die set to get. So that's wanted to say. All right, so I'm gonna move that out of the way, and of course, we need the happy birthday. So I will pull those out and set those over here. All right, so for today's card, I thought we would do it in another color. You know I always love to do that. So our supplies. So we have our envelope and then I have a little strip. This is about 5 eighths of an inch wide for the envelope to decorate that. And then we are going to need, of course, our card base. This is a five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get that folded and give it a good press with my bone folder right now. So that'll be ready to go. And then we need um, some designer series paper. This is a new pack of paper, okay? It is called the Glorious Gingham and it's a six inch pack. And I really love ginghams. So, I think you're gonna like this. It's got some really fun bright colors. So this is blueberry bushel. And then we've got, if I can get it out here, lemon lime twist. This is pretty peacock, berry burst, and pecan pie. And then the back sides of the paper, as I turn it over, is a smaller gingham that is not on the angle. So this is a great pack of paper. I think you're gonna love having that. So we need a four by five and a quarter piece of that. Then when I trim this, this is the bottom part that I cut off, so I cut it at four inches, and then this leaves three quarters. This is the perfect part to decorate the inside of your card. So we're gonna set that aside. Then you're gonna need another piece of just regular white, and this is four inches wide, but you only need to have this to be about three inches because we're gonna rip this one. And then you're gonna need two smaller pieces of paper. These are by two by three and a half, and this is what we're gonna to use to uh, die cut our words and the bubbles, okay? So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get this glued down. So this is just gonna go on the front of your card, like so, and then we can set that aside, and then we're gonna get doing some tearing up here. So I'm gonna put my glue on this. So my lid goes flying. So I'm just gonna center that right there. All right, now, uh, there's a couple things about tearing paper that you need to know. So this is our piece of paper that we're gonna tear. 
All of the cardstock that is made by Stampin' Up is a solid core cardstock, which means that the color is all the way through. Now, obviously with white, it's, you know, it's gonna be white on the inside, but our designer series paper does have a white core. So you're gonna see how that looks different. But some other cardstocks that you might have might have a white core. So that's gonna change the look. So the thing that you should know when you are tearing is you wanna start and tear toward you. And for this piece, I'm gonna tear it just about in half. And then I'm just kind of wiggling it a little bit. And you can see how it is separating. And you can see the rough part there. And you can make this any shape that you want, but I pretty much want it just to be right down the middle. And then when I turn this over, I have this part for the bottom of my card and look at that beautiful rough edge. And there is that beautiful rough edge. Okay. So we can go ahead and stick those down. I'm going to get um, some dimensionals. Looks like I'm almost done with this sheet. So I am going to pop these up and all right, one thing I think that you all know this by now is that you can use all of your side pieces of your dimensional. So here, I got one more that I can do. I'm gonna put that in the middle. So when you get all the octagons out of here, um, go ahead and just trim these down into smaller bits and then you can have a lot more um, use out of these sheets, okay? So I'm just gonna take some of those pieces that I've cut and use them on the side. And then we will have these ready to stick onto our card front. So go back to our card front and just peel these off. Now you could use a smaller piece of designer series paper because really you only need the part that's sort of in the middle where the words go but I found it easier just to have that full size piece. Let's see if I can line this up through the camera. Sometimes your head can, uh, can't get in the way. Oh, did I put that on upside down? Oh, lo and behold, I did. Well, let me just go get another piece of paper and do it the right way. So this is how we wanted to put on our card. Let me turn it over. <laughs> Then I can put my dimensionals down. Normally it's not so important because it would have just been um, a, oh, my backing stuck. It would have been just, you know, symmetrical, just a white piece of paper. Um, but because we have torn it and you wanna have that rough edge showing, it is important on this card. So everybody makes mistakes. It's not as fun when you're doing it on the video and then you have to go fix it, but it happens. All right, a couple more pieces here. And I think I gotta make a few more cuts. And put that there. Okay, let's try that again. So let me take the backings off. And now we're gonna see that beautiful torn edge just the way we want to um, on the front of our card. Again, I gotta look through the camera a little bit and line it up. Okay, see, doesn't that look so much better when you can see that beautiful rough edge? All right, and then this one's gonna go on the bottom. All right, this one's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so now the stage is set so we can use our dies. So we've got the happy birthday, that's gonna be the outline in white, and then the happy birthday in the berry burst. I'm gonna go run this through um, my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and I'll be right back. All right, so these are what you get. So the happy and the birthday come out separately, but the background comes out um, all in one piece. So I am just going to add some glue. I'm gonna use my little tiny glue bottle um, because these are kind of small and I'm just gonna apply little bits of glue. And one thing I really like about this happy birthday is that the eye in the birthday is all attached. So you don't have to worry about losing that. And then you 
add that right on top and give that a good press. Yeah, see what I'm talking about with the eye? See how it's attached? I love that because, oh, so often I would drop the little dots and then I'm like, oh, I have to go cut it again. So as I'm doing this, I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Um, I don't know what your weather was like where you live, but it was gorgeous here. And um, my grandson got baptized this weekend. So that was really a special treat. And my sister was able to come down and visit. So that also was a treat. She hasn't been here since the baby shower. She lives up in Buffalo. So we were glad to have her. So now we have this happy birthday. And we are going to pop that up right in this open space. So let's turn that over. And this time I'm gonna use some mini dimensionals just because um, these are a little bit thinner. And we'll place those minis all around. This is big enough that you could have used a full-size dimensional there, but we're sticking with our minis. All right, peel these off. And then this card is almost done. It is so pretty. I love these ginghams. Now, if you remember, I think it was last summer, we had some a great big pack of gingham, and I love that. So I was very happy to see that they came out with some more ginghams. All right, and now we are going to add some glossy dots um, just to make it a little bit more festive. Get this open. And I thought these little, these little pink ones, grab my take your pick tool. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on my blue card. And I'm just going to stick them down in a row. One, two, and I don't press them down until I get them just positioned. Um, just because sometimes you got to see like that one, I have to move it down a little bit over and then I can give them a press. So it just adds a little bit extra pop to the cart. So let's finish this off. This is that three quarter inch piece that was left over from when we cut this larger piece. So I'm gonna stick this at the bottom of the card. And then I am going to use um, a celebrate greeting that comes from the Share a Milkshake set. I love the font on this and it is the perfect for the inside of the card. So we're gonna get out our Berry Burst ink. And this is, oops, upside down, that is the word celebrate. And one little tip, I love putting my inside sentiment on this longer block. And the reason I like it is because it helps me to get it centered. So I put the words in the center of my block and then it helps me to get it centered left, right. So then when I look through it, um, that's just about as wide as your card. So it helps you to put that there. All right, close that up. Get that out of the way. And then the only thing we have left to do is our envelope. And so, get off my little dimensional backings. Here is my envelope. And I'm gonna put this along the side. So I'm just gonna trim off the majority of it. So when you're adding a strip of paper like this, you do wanna try to get glue all the way um, to the edges as much as possible. So there's nothing for it to catch when it goes through the mail. So I put a little extra glue when I'm doing a strip down the side of an envelope and then I give it um, a really good press once it's on my envelope to squish those glue out to the edges as much as possible. And then I just trim off this little excess. So there we have our finished card. Oh, as I knock it off. So move my little mat out of the side. So there is the version in um, Berry Burst and here it is in Blueberry Bushel. So I don't know about you, but I really love both of them. I don't think I have a favorite. Um, it's just a really easy card to do. And like this one would be perfect for um, guys or girls. Um, the pink one's probably gonna wanna go to a girl. But I have some other great samples to show you. So let's start out with this first one. And this is a card I made from um, a new bundle and it's called the Earthen Textures Bundle. And this is Pecan Pie, which is a new color. And this is one of the papers that is in the bundle. 
So remember at the beginning when I talked about the core of our card, our, our cardstock? So if I were to tear this card, I would see this color all the way through, just like I did on the white. But because our printer, our designer series paper is printed, it has a white core. So you're gonna get this edge and it's gonna be very distinctive. So I took a piece of that designer series paper and I just tore it along there. It gives it a really beautiful, very unnatural look. I, I think it's very organic. I think that is the, the term that they use there. And then this was the, a little bit of the scrap left over from when I had torn it. And so I just put that as a little backdrop to my saying. So isn't that a beautiful card? That is from the Earthen Textures Bundle. My next card is from, um, I'm using the Petal Park, uh, excuse me, Sentimental Park. I actually do use Petal Park as well, but the Sentimental Park is a bundle. And so here I used um, this 3D texture um, and lay, made that a layer on this card. And then for this, I tore some designer series paper. I used the Bright and Beautiful designer series paper. I've done quite a bit with that, and as you will see from posts and Facebook and whatever, but I just took a piece of it and I tore it and then cut it out and then put it on this tag as a diagonal piece. It just is a beautiful little accent, something a little bit different. And then this was tailor-made tags, by the way. Um, added a little bit of ribbon and cut out this beautiful thanks. Um, and that is the inside of my card. I just put a little flower as well as on the envelope. Really simple card, but beautiful to do. All right, Father's Day is coming up. So, here is a piece where I took this panel and I embossed it. So I gave it this little time-worn text, um, just a subtle texture on it, and then tore it. So look at this. You can see that you see that same color all the way through. Um, I added a simple tag. This is using the He's All That bundle um, to do this tag and the saying on it. Added a little bit of my linen thread and then did my um, Father's Day sentiment. And then I just put a little strip here with that same texture to decorate the inside. So that makes a great Father's Day card. And then I did that same time-worn text um, embossing folder on the flap of my envelope. So there, the same you know, ripping technique, a whole different feel. And then my last sample is using the Hello Irresistible designer series paper that I mentioned earlier. And here I did layers of tearing. So I took a piece and I tore it and then you can see that white edge and then I put it on top of this one. Then I took another piece and I tore it and then I put it on top. So I just layered my designer series paper and it looks very cool, almost looks like a wallpaper um, that's been peeling off. And then I did my, um, this is the botanical layers that I used for this and the something fancy dies. This is a lost lagoon is my color. And then because my paper was longer, um, this is six inch paper. So it had three quarters of an inch from when I cut the strips. I just used those leftover strips and I added them to the inside. And I thought that was a great way to use up those scraps and make the inside beautiful. And then on this one, I just put some more of those beautiful botanical leaves um, on the outside of my envelope. So those are my cards with um, tearing it up. I hope that you have liked them. Please leave a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. And please share my video with other people. I do so much appreciate, oh, you can't see this one. I do so much appreciate um, when you share my videos and I get new subscribers to my channel. So thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.